good. Isn't it? You guys got a wireless mouse, or oh, I've a lot of you got wireless mice nowadays. But do you got mice that, when you're trying to scroll, that kind of don't want to work right? You know? At all? Because I'm spinning this mouse. A lot, and it's like not following. Well, this mouse started doing this about two or three days, about probably four days ago now. So I'm going to take the little mouse apart here and see if we can't find out why the mouse is a. Uh, being a pain to butt. Anyways, if you're interested in following along, let's get to it. <coughs> this is a Logitech, a Logi, Logitech mouse. It is model number MR0085 and uh, or M185, whatever. In any event, it uh, comes with a keyboard and recently it has stopped wanting to uh, scroll properly so I'm going to take this mouse apart and hopefully figure out why it's doing what it's doing and when they look fix it maybe so, screws in this thing are weird. So we've got one in the bottom, right here. So we'll start with uh, ripping that one apart. Start by ripping that one out. Put it in the bottom of the thing there. Yeah. Okay, so I think it's a Compression fit looks like but there is there any other there's usually a hidden screws and I'm willing to bet they're probably under these two pads but let's see if we can't uh, pry it apart maybe okay I guess it was two screws. There's only one screw to hold, only one screw holding the whole thing up. Holding the whole thing together. Alright. So that's the guts of the mouse. And of course, the wheel. So. And the bat, there seems to be a fair bit of a dust or whatever in there. Build up, build up of whatever gunk on the wheel. So, can this wheel be removed? Doesn't look like it. So, trying to clean it up best I can here. What it is, the sensor, which is right here, obviously is not seeing the, uh, not noticing the, uh, the wheel moving properly. That's my, uh, that's what I think, anyway. Am I right? Who knows? Am I wrong? Who knows? Little micro switches. Now, can this wheel come out? By the looks of it, that board kind of got to pop out. 
I'm going to release that wheel. That's what it looks like. Got a clip here. Let's see. Let's see if we can't release this board. Maybe. So far, so good. Clip it in here. Alright. Okay, so the board can come out just like that. So now we should be able to move. I should be able to remove this wheel. There we go. The wheel's now removed. Again, there's the sensor. So I'm just gonna clean up the wheel there. Make sure there's no dust inside. Give me a little uh, loop here. Do you see? These sensors can also uh, give out as well, which is probably what's after going on as well. Question is, we have another mouse with that with that sensor. Looks okay. back in sometimes what happens is uh, the open part here the sensor gets rounded out and then it no longer fits the shaft the point on that wheel Can make it uh, skip. So I'll put this back in. Seems to be okay. I'm gonna put the board back in. Everything back down like so. And clip the front part on, which kind of slides in underneath. And put the and lose the screw inside the mouse. <laughs> that was a good idea. Put the battery in. Clip. Now we're gonna try the mouse again and see if it works. So, after cleaning the mouse, seems to be a little bit more uh, responsive. So, yeah, if you have the issue with your mouse just being a proper pain and you know who, pull it apart. You ever go clean on the inside? You never know what might work. Anyway, just a quick little video. Useless, I guess. Who knows? But hey, video's a video. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Area 63, we're out of here.